two rounds of grants that were funded through HUD and our local partners. I did not understand why we were denied the grants. I thought that many would consider our award-winning business as an anchor in downtown, worthy of efforts to save. We pay our taxes on time. We are active in the community. We are located in the heart of a business district. Something didn't seem right. After some persistence, I received a call from the mayor Mason. After more questioning, he told me the real reason why we were denied the grant. It was because my husband had attended the open Wisconsin rally in Madison that challenged Governor Evers' stay at home order. Mayor Mason admitted as much in public statement, adding that Dennis, and I quote, willingly jeopardized public health, flagrantly violated safety measures, put city residents at unnecessary risk, and engaged in reckless behavior at the rally. But here is the truth. Dennis did attend the rally. Because he was concerned about the virus, he wore a mask. He stayed at the edge of the crowd and was careful to maintain a safe distance from others. All of this has been proven. It was there that Dennis was approached by a reporter. He has two simple points. First, if a liquor store or a Walmart can safely serve their customers, why can't we? Second, you can be concerned about the damage done by the virus and care about the people suffering economically. It is also important to stress the nature of this protest. Nobody was insulting or throwing objects at the police. No buildings were set on fire. No businesses were looted or destroyed. There were no arrests. This was an entirely peaceful protest. Apparently, our mayor believes he is not constrained by a constitution that I swore allegiance allegiance to, and that he swore to uphold. We have decided to fight this injustice, and as such, I am grateful to live in the United States with a constitution designed to protect the rights of citizens from abusive officials. I am thankful to have the opportunity to pursue a just conclusion through an impartial judicial system. I look forward to a resolution and I trust will uphold the cherished rights of all Americans. Thank you, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much for your testimony and your patience of waiting while the members voted. And uh, we will now go to members of the uh, subcommittee who have questions, and each member has up to five minutes uh, to um, answer their questions. and. We will first turn uh, to uh, the general lady from Washington, Ms. Jaya Paul.